Hi. Today's guide will focus on setting up a computer system for artificial intelligence, AI. The word AI every day scared a lot of professionals. People will be telling you that uh, AI is there to take your job. Don't be scared. AI is another globalization that will support industries that support individuals to pass track the levels of their productivity. So today's guide will be on how do we set up our computer for artificial intelligence. We want to dive into this new topic of everyday artificial intelligence, in medicine, artificial intelligence, in education, artificial intelligence, in any fields you may think of, you'll be hearing of this word, artificial intelligence, AI. Recently, I read a paper. Uh, there was a survey on the paper where professionals in the medical fields were given the survey. So 70 to 60% were scared that AI is going to take their job. Reality is AI is not here to take your job, but you have to improve yourself for you to be able to get in line with what AI is doing. Now let us dive into today's guide. What is an artificial intelligence, which is part of the content of discussion today? And also computer setup. How do we set up our computer? for artificial intelligence, then we have guide on tools that we can install on our desktop computers, tools that we can access uh, on the cloud in order to dive into AI. Now, first of all, before that, we need to understand what is this AI. There are a lot of definitions of AI, academic definitions, professional definition, and all that. But I want us to look at this. When you talk of AI, think of a smart computer or smart device that can do what you are doing or even do better than what you are doing. Take examples. You may know thousands of people, but as time goes on, when you see somebody, you may be thinking, ah, do I know this space? But AI can do better than the way you do in terms of recognizing human faces. Not only that, AI is a kind of new trend or new technology, which is referred as emerging technology, which a computer system can be able to do your job faster, more accurate than the way you are doing it. But don't forget, at all levels, at all st stages, Artificial intelligence requires human intervention because you need to have a human that can develop that machine learning or can develop that artificial intelligence algorithms. It means that it is we humans that are contributing towards the development of machine learning. The machine learning comes on its own. It is we humans that think critically and come up with these trending technology which is the AI. So put in mind, when you're talking of AI, just look at this example. A computer that can think, learn from what you are giving it, learn from the data you are imputing. And then on its own, the computer can act, can take decisions. So which means this artificial intelligence is an emerging technology it's a new technology that is evolving every day. New things, new tools are coming, new improvement every single day, which means that artificial intelligence is not here to replace humans. Although a lot of experts argue that artificial intelligence will take a lot of people's jobs. Yes, it's reality. It can take a lot of people's jobs. I remember reading a book called uh, 21 lesson to the 21st century. So if you have time, get the book and study it. It's a very good book. But reality here is, when you are updating yourself, 
definitely AI is not going to take your job. But if you stay and keep on castigating that AI will take my job, AI will take, definitely artificial intelligence is going to take your job. So how do we set up our computer to get ready for artificial intelligence? I categorize the setups in two different ways. First of all, installing the software on your physical computer. And then the second part is installing the software or accessing the software on cloud. We are going to focus accessing the software on cloud. Now, installing it on your physical computer, you can take your time and download these tools, install it on your computer, and you should be able to have a computer setups to do artificial intelligence. Now, first of all, we have TensorFlow, which is developed by Google. Copy the link, open your browser, Like all version of softwares, you have the version for Windows, you have the one for Mac, you have the one for Ubuntu. So take your time. If you have a Windows operating system, go ahead and install this. If you have Mac OS, that's you have MacBook, you can follow the process, study the content, and you should be able to install uh, TensorFlow on your computer. Another software is PyTorch, which is developed by Facebook. You'll be surprised why all these giant companies developing all these tools that we can use in artificial intelligence. Yeah, remember, when you're on Facebook, you have a bunch of friends. You have, if you become a friend to one person, Facebook will notify another person that oh, so so person is on Facebook. That's part of artificial intelligence. The machine is learning and trying to know who are your friends and not to find other connections you have from the Facebook. So Facebook developed this PyTorch. When you get to the official website, you can see you can download for MacBook, you can download for Linux operating system, you can download for Windows operating system. So take your time and download anyone you have, if it's MacBook, if it's Linux, you can download any of the softwares on your computer. Now the other part, as uh, we have uh, discussed more, this is a mistake, which is Anaconda. I believe during our last guide on how to set up computer for data analytics, we discussed about Anaconda. So Anaconda has a lot of support a lot of tools that can support you in machine learning, in artificial intelligence, in data science. So go ahead and download Anaconda and install it on your computer. Like I said earlier, we are going to focus on cloud-based software for artificial intelligence. So Google developed this call app. So copy this link, paste it on your browser. When you paste it on your browser, if you don't have your Gmail's sign in on the browser, Google will ask you to do that. And then when you sign on, you should be able to have this. So as you can see from the left panels, you can see there's data science, there's machine learning, and there's more resources. So this call app is one of the easiest tools when it comes to machine learning and artificial intelligence. All you need to do is to click on new, new notebook. When you do that, a new tab will be open on your browser. And when the tab open, you, you will have the environment where you can be able to write the code. That means write the algorithms for you to develop a machine learning algorithms. Also, also as part of the improvement from Google's, Earlier, you can only code. But with this, was trending, with technology evolving every day, you can be able to even provide with a text, write a natural language 
telling the two that this is what I want, this is the data I want, I want you to develop machine learning algorithm that can do this and do that. Thank you very much for watching.